Hey guys, so we are concentrating an episode today on how we're styling bathrooms. It's actually something we get asked often. Um, for the way we operate here at Foxy, we actually don't charge our clients to style bathrooms. Bathrooms and kitchens are styled complimentary. Initially, that wasn't how we are quoted. I found the more quotes that I was putting out, the more, off, the more often I was being asked to please remove those rooms in an effort to reduce the price. Now, I obviously don't want to remove those spaces, but I, and I see the value in those spaces being styled, particularly because bathrooms and kitchens, laundries not, not so much, but generally bathrooms and kitchens are our feature shots on realestate.com. There are always photos of these spaces in your listing. So they have to be presented right. It would look unusual. It wouldn't look right if we had styled, 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 not styled. A beautifully presented bathroom like the one behind us, it needs the extra finishes just like the rest of the house does. That's why we now do them complimentary. There are a lot of different ways we style a bathroom. Basically, we have three elements. We have our greenery, we have a soap dispenser, and then we have some type of utensil, whether or not it be scrubbing brush, a nail brush, a loofah, a soap a bar, a nice big something extra that goes with it. In the master ensuite in this property, we also do a little tray. You can play with different size greenery, which you'll say, see throughout this episode. We've got tall green, we've got vine green, we use succulents, all different types of greenery throughout the bathrooms. Honestly, it depends on how much bench space we have as to what type of greenery we will go with. The bathroom behind me, you can see we have ample vanity space. There is plenty going on there. So that's why we can get a little um, tray in. Trays don't always get used. Sometimes we have nice long elongated ones. Just depends entirely on what surface space we have to play with. Toweling obviously is the other thing that every bathroom has. Uh, we play a range of towels. So we do white, black. You can see in most of the bathrooms we play with one plain towel and a textured towel, we would very rarely do a matching set of towels. Um, that doesn't happen very often. We prefer the look of one playing with a texture against a plain towel, uh, very similar to the way that we do our bedding. Again, happen in the laundry, we'll do two folded towels on top of one another, playing with the sizes of towels, going with a hand towel. We will never ever ignore a hand towel, we should never, can't say never ever, uh, ignore a hand towel hook. A hand towel hook will always have a hand towel on it, otherwise it can be mistaken sometimes for a toilet roll holder depending on its location, but yeah, there are the other elements. We do often get asked to put trees in a bathroom and it's something that we just don't do. I just, I haven't met somebody who has a tree in their bathroom unless they've got a huge bathroom. So it's not something I feel is valuable um, to them to have something in their home like that. I don't see the return on investment to put it in there for them, uh, but I just think it's scream styled. So we just don't do it. Very similar when we're arranging our pieces in a bathroom, it's very similar to the rules on a coffee table as well as a dining table. So we're playing with heights. You've got greenery, soap dispenser, as well as the soap. Obviously we're not gonna put the soap at the back. You won't see the soap at the back. If we've got something like a, a washer, we'll roll it up and then we could put a soap bar on top of the washer to give the extra layering effects, but that's again, playing with texture. So you will see all the bathrooms in this property, we have layering effect happening. So one of the instructions we give a vendor when we're going through a walkthrough and we're saying how to get the home prepared for us, uh, and they're living in the property obviously when they're selling, what they need to do for us is clear off their vanity top. They need to pretend like they're not living here. So I, we don't wanna see a shampoo and conditioner in the in the, um, the niche in the shower. We don't wanna see toothbrush holders and toothbrushes up on the, on the bench here. Everything gets cleared off. If we have clutter, that's personal items. Styling 101 for us is getting rid of those personal items. You don't want to come into an open home and see somebody's toothbrush sitting on the bench. You, you just don't want to see that. That's not going to give a good impression. We clear it off, pretend like we don't live here. 